Okay, let's do this. Hey there, fellows. Okay, so let me give you a quick rundown. We've got this here lovely car. It even has a number on it. We use it for competition. Now, I'm not gonna pretend like we're some kind of top-tier professionals, but the bottom line is the car drives, and quite well at that. But as always, we ran into a common problem. The engine on this one is stock, of course, so is everything else. Anyway, it is seriously down on power. It's not the most pleasant thing in the world when you've got dips in the power band. It really feels like it could use just a tiny bit of boost. And so an idea occurred to us that we might fit a turbo. But then after a bit of pondering, we thought, why not try electric forced induction, like an electric blower. And after rummaging through the storage room, here is what we found in there. Now, if you need a powerful electric motor, you're obviously not using one for the heater or the wipers. What you want is a starter motor. So we've got that and a turbocharger. And the idea is to take the two of them. We'll make it so the engine doesn't waste any of its own power on spinning up the compressor by means of providing a bit of help. What we want to make is a system you activate by pressing a button that'd force air into the engine to increase the horsepower. I mean, even if the gains aren't all that impressive, we're still curious to see if we can at least get an increase of about 10 or 15 horsepower as measured by Butt Dino. Or 12? Yeah, that much you're definitely gonna feel. Ideally, we'd also like to keep things as simple as possible. We are definitely not seeking to make this overly complicated. We want to just be able to slap it on, start the car and go have some fun. Right then, let's throw this together and see what comes out of it. Let's do this. We've got a special merch offer for you, fellows, to brighten the mood in these turbulent times. Starting today, we'll be offering a mystery gift box. When purchasing the box, you're guaranteed to receive a certain selection of stuff from our shop, as well as the chance to win something big. You spend a fixed $30 price for the box, and you're guaranteed to receive a Garage 54 mug, a pair of socks, a sticker, an air freshener for your car, as well as a key fob. One out of ten buyers will be sent an expensive gift on top of that, which could be a cap, t-shirt, hoodie, or a document holder. So we'll be putting something expensive into one out of every ten boxes. If you'd like to support our channel and try your luck, there's gonna be a link in the video description. Turbocharging a lot with a starter motor, translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Alright, here's the assembly, we are looking good, now we just need to test it to determine whether the starter motor even has enough power to get this to spin. Also to check and see how hard the compressor is going to be blowing. Yeah, so that we also need to check. What can I say? It feels pretty good. It's blowing hard. But then again, we need the revs to be at about 30 grand, or even 35,000. But as far as I can tell, we're not there yet. Oh, 
Though I could be wrong. The air current is pretty strong. Okay, so the unit itself has been tested. So that's all good and well. I guess now it's time to bring the car in for the installation. And after that, we head out for a test drive. Okay, we've got everything assembled, and it looks really nice, though it is positioned quite a bit higher than the hood. Which is why we won't be putting it back on, with the other option being to cut it. Otherwise, the car is ready to go out. But before we do, we need to start it here to see how it all works. We haven't done that yet, so we don't know what'll happen. But let's see, shall we? The main test, of course, is going to be out on the road, where we'll see whether or not this is good for any gains. We don't know yet. Okay, let's give this a try. Well, it runs, that's already a good thing. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so it works fine like this. Now, what if I... Whoa, I'm scared to even press the gas. I press the gas first, then I switch on the turbo. What do you make of it? What sort of concoction is this? Oh, hopefully I don't crash the car. It's not enough? No, it's contracting. Oh man, too bad we don't have a sensor for measuring the boost pressure. What a bummer. Well, I guess we'll have to make do without one. I'll have to rely on my own senses. Okay, let's do this. We'll drive out on just the engine. Without flipping on the turbo. Here it'd be totally inappropriate. Over these beat up roads. Right? All I did was press the button. Holy cow! Did you see what happened? Okay, like this it doesn't want to work. But now I'm holding it. Wow, it really does pull. Wait a second. Let's create some distance to the car ahead of us. Man, this works for real. You know, I think I figured out how to use it. You need to hold the button without letting go. Hey, where are you going? You know, I don't quite understand. But you do see the engine move around. Say what? You can see the engine move around. Oh yeah, of course. Give it a moment. Yeah, it was bucking, but now it's good after I pressed the button. Watch this. You can hear the noise even from in here. Okay, let's go. Oh, wow! Careful. Did you see how fast we were going in second? 90 Ks almost. Cool. Yeah, the system works. You wanna have a go? What, you scared? I'll pretend I don't have my license on me. I don't have mine either. But I do have one. This is how you do it. Oh, my God. 
I told you it works. Did you feel that? This is so much fun. We really should have brought someone with us. Because they're not gonna believe us when we get back. When, as a matter of fact, it does work. This thing hauls. Man, I love how this pulls. I don't think they understood what this is. I can take your Camry, no problem. It has to be like a 2.5 or a 3 liter, maybe. Or a 3.5. Still though, I think that beating us in this is going to be very difficult even for a 3 liter Camry. And we're not even all that quick, I mean, without having done a proper tune. Now that'd be a complete game changer. Yeah, we haven't even tuned it. All of the maps are stuck. That was the rev limiter. What was that? I hope that wasn't a piston evacuating. Is the engine even running? Yes, it is. Good. Seriously, though, what was that? Overboost? Perhaps you're right. We have no idea what that was, but it was hectic. Man, cool. It's nice to know it works. Because I was worried we wouldn't see any positive results. But in fact, this turned out very well. Okay, we're back from our test drive. And, well, what can I say? The system works amazingly enough. It even reminds you of an actual turbocharger in how it gets on boost. So you press the button, then it builds momentum. And in that moment, you can hear a sound like the one an airplane turbine makes. You hear it in the cabin, that tells you the system has built a bunch of revs, and that's when you feel the kick. From what I could tell, you really need to... Keep the button pressed. <laughs> when you keep the system running, it provides you with a pretty nice boost in power. Not to say that there aren't any drawbacks. First of all, this certainly needs a tune. This is really no good without a proper tune. Also, we learned that the starter motor is a bit of a weak point. It is a powerful unit, but after we got back I went to feel it and it is really hot. That is not a good thing. If that's the case, it has... I don't even know how much time it has to continue spinning the turbo. In any case, that does tell us that it is under severe stress, which is not ideal. Now, the entire point of this system was for it to be separate from the engine, to spare it the extra load. I mean, we could have used a regular supercharger, but that's just not the same. What we got here is a standalone system, with a completely autonomous blower. Anyway, the system works, it's all good, but it is going to require a few tweaks here and there. We'll try and think of the best and most effective way to go about it, but we're definitely saving that for later. We'll get to the revisions sometime in the future. You know what, why don't you guys hit us up in the comments? If you have any experience with these sorts of things that you'd like to share with us. And to anybody who doesn't believe this works, this is an easy one for you to try yourselves. All you need is a lathe, someone who knows how to operate it, an angle grinder, Everything else you can just buy at a store. And that's all I got for you. Piece of cake. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.